Hello everyone and welcome to Meeple Leaf Reviews. I'm Jeffrey Weber and today I'm going to be doing a before and after where I take a look at a game before and after my very first play giving you my expectations and then first impressions. Today that game is Civilization A New Dawn. Now I'm a huge fan of the video game series of Civilization. Civilization 5 is probably one of my favorite games. Uh, and I have played the previous Civilization game from Fantasy Flight um, before and I didn't really like it so... When I heard that this new one was coming out, I was hopeful that maybe this one would capture the essence of the video game that I enjoy so much and translate it to uh, a board game format. So I've set the game up, I've read through the rules, I've had a look uh, at the components, and I'm intrigued by a few of the things that the game is doing. Number one, it has this action selection uh, kind of card row where the longer you go without taking an action, the more it slides over to a more powerful space. So it kind of encourages you to di diversify your actions or if you want to take the same action over and over again, it's not going to be uh, quite as powerful. It also has tech upgrades where you can upgrade those cards. It has a, a map component where you're expanding cities and control tokens and getting resources. All the things that I like from a civilization game. Now, after I had the game set up and I was looking at it and I was, I was thinking about the, how the game would play out, it actually reminded me a little bit of Scythe in a way because you have these random objective cards that come out and it's basically... I feel like it's going to be an efficiency race to try and get uh, one objective on each of three cards completed before the other player. So you're going to be want to be doing all these different things in the game, but it's going to, I think, reward people who focus and choose a strategy and stick with it and try and achieve uh, their end goal, much like uh, Civilization, the video game. Uh, does so overall going into the first game i'm i'm excited to play it i think it's going to be uh, a fun game and I'm, I'm expecting to enjoy it so we'll get it to the table we'll come back and see what i think of civilization a new dawn Hello everyone and welcome back. I just finished my first play of Civilization A New Dawn. Uh, history into my first play, I played it two player and it took around 50 minutes uh, to finish off the game. So overall, how, uh, how did it live up to my expectations? I actually quite enjoyed it. It definitely did feel like that efficiency race that I thought it would feel like. Not getting distracted, focusing on your objectives and then completing them as, as efficiently as you possibly can. The other thing that I, I liked during the game was that there was a certain point where I felt like I was being inefficient. That I was taking actions just because they were in the fifth slot because until you use that card you can't get any of your other actions up into that more powerful spot. But taking that action I was like oh I can't take the full benefit of this action yet I want to do this first but then if I take that I really want to do this action first so it's kind of like that cascading effect of wanting to be more efficient with with another action before you take the action that you are currently taking. So I, I quite enjoyed that aspect of the game. The other thing was the the technology advancements. You're upgrading the actual action cards that you're using. One thing that I didn't appreciate before uh, I played the game was that some of the abilities on the cards actually go away as you upgrade them. So it's not simply a matter of having additive benefits as you upgrade. Some of them actually change and you might actually want to leave a card at a certain tech level instead of upgrading it to get uh, a certain benefit depending on the strategy that you you want to take so I, I quite like that I liked also how there's not a whole lot of randomness in the game there's uh, the way that the barbarian tokens you roll the die to determine what direction they move so you, you aren't sure but you have an idea of where they can go because they only move one space and then the combat is also quite Quite simple, you basically add up bonuses and then there's a die roll that each side gets to add. So you have an idea plus or minus where, where it could be. So not a whole lot of randomness, not a whole lot of hidden or unknown information in the game. I, I quite like that. I found the turns moved at a very a very quick pace back and forth. Uh, so overall, I, I really enjoyed the game. Definitely be willing uh, to play it again. I Like I said, I 
it has that kind of efficiency race feeling that I got from from Scythe playing that game. So and Scythe is a game that I quite enjoy. So overall, really happy with Civilization and New Dawn. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys next time.